good enough replica of the real life um, equipment. Okay, so stack from the back then, which actually that's the logical thing to do since that's where the wheels are. So we won't be putting too much strain on bits. good thing about this tractor is it's four wheel steer so it does make it a little bit more agile and easier to line up on stuff. Kind of like a telehandler is. Oh you fool. Okay. There's another real life YouTuber I watched who uh, had his kid paint a yellow line down the middle of his bale trailer so he could see where to place the bales in order that he got two rows on the back. Okay, this is not what we had in mind. Which is kind of a clever idea. Okay. That's that. Now let's put it back on the trailer and try not to push the other one off. There we go, okay. I think what I should do is that. Okay, let's go fetch more bales. I'll get the ones from the top and the middle of the field first since it's further to go. But maybe then I can relocate the, the bale trailer down to the bottom of the field to pick up all the ones stuck in the hedge at the bottom. I didn't look up where we're supposed to take all these to get paid. Okay, slow down before you get there. And then do the slow driving thing once we're here. Okay. Extract ourselves from the bale and that's all good. is stables bail cell point okay I think that might be on the lower road next to where we have our um, sugar beet fields really matter until we're loaded so check that in a while however I do need to check on the uh, number of bales created because we are going to have to collect them all before we uh, finish this up Here. Yeah. 
hitting the the bales locked in. Oh, stop. Back up very, very slightly and leave it there. What's that looking like? Uh, it's looking like I need to knock it down the trailer a little. Go on, roll, 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 roll. No, that's not the plan. Okay. Good job. There you go. Okay, that one's where I want it to be. This one is not where I want it to be. floor right there and we'll go back to using the tractor for that so super strength off ah frustrations with bale stacking uh, it's a usual thing which is again why I tend to use bale loading wagons but we don't have a round one Let's check the bail count. Um, that says we created 19 bales, but that's our bales. That's not these bales then. It's not counting the bales we do on contract. Oh, that sucks. That means we're going to have to hunt for every single bale we made at every low point on this field. So, two in the ditch. I don't want to get caught up in the tree. Okay. actually considering turning the bale trailer 90 degrees so the back end is pointing exactly down the hill. Okay, that's good. Slip out of that and we should just be able to swing it around and come in from the, the flat end. Oops.
There we go. Okay. Call that. Down by the river. Oh, far no games. And couple of bales in the middle of the field and then everything else is on the bottom in the hedge which might make extraction I just pushed that across there didn't I Hello. might make bale extraction a little bit more tricky because uh, there is a magic barrier on the hedges which prevents bales from getting through them And that particular script on this map was originally installed, I believe, on um, oh, it wasn't Charwell, no. Um, honestly, can't remember the name. Cobra Park Farm. That was it. Because what would happen is bales would roll through the hedges and you'd be driving down the road on the other side and suddenly run across a whole group of bales set in the middle of the road. And so Oxygen David was uh, at least somewhat uh, connected with the script. So with this bale I now cannot go forwards. The, the hedge stops me. If I leave it over my head, lift it above the hedge, I should just be able to drive through the hedge like that. So, magic hedges. They don't stop tractors, but they do stop bales. Oh, I probably... I'm gonna, I am going to move this. Nope. Engine on. Gears forwards. We're going to put straight up the hill. Or at least mostly straight up the hill. Do. I'll take all of the straps off. And I will reconnect them as we go. I want to see if I can nudge some of those bales so that they're stacked a little bit close together. I should probably lower that boom so it's not completely hosing my uh, centre of gravity. Okay, 
zoom in. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay. Okay, how's that look now? Uh, that kind of looks a bit better. Okay. One strap, two straps, three straps. rolling down a bit. But, uh, okay, so that's all. Um, that actually looks like there's a bale over by the uh, over here. I may be completely wrong. Nope. There you are. <laughs> I found you. You cannot escape me that easily. And evil overlord words like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to put this down in the middle of the field so that we can stab it right. to put it there. And lift the uh, loader arms off the ground so we can actually take advantage of the steering of abilities of this tractor. And then stab it mostly straight on. There we go. Potentially 10 bales on this trailer, if I do it right. Stay there, stay there, you poo. Okay, time for a strongman mode. Okay, that's closer, I think. Okay, we'll do that. Now that bale ran back where it came from again, so we're gonna have to try that all over again. Yay. that back up and turn there we go dude go forwards okay yeah 
Well, that was a little bit tricky. Because with rolling bales, they can get stuck under trees. Okay, definitely room for a bale now. Nice. Okay, let's go find some more. It is entirely possible that all of these might fit on the trailer. Then we have to be very careful selling them. Okay, what does this look like? Oh, I was way off. I think that might be an advantage with the telehandler is that it doesn't lose um, well the boom tent the the attachment to the boom tends to rise and lower straight up and down whereas with a tractor front loader there is an arc on that rise so you actually have to stand off when lowering a bale to get it to end up where you want it. So I come in here. But rather than bumping right up against that bale that's already on the trailer, as I lower this, this will. Oh, Maybe it won't because I'm lowering it on the wrong thing. Okay, that is what it is. And we'll put the forks down and nudge it gently onto the trailer without pushing the one on the other side off. There we go. Well, that kind of worked. So, um, strap them all down. Don't really that one strapped at the moment. Okay, that is sufficient to hold the lower level and not lose any of it. And now comes the slightly more easier task of stacking the next row. I think last time I did this, I didn't have the creels on the trailer to stop the bales rolling off. So I stacked them on their flat ends. Which actually is a little bit easier. So yeah, so that's currently approximately the middle. But I'm going to have to back off a bit because we're slowly moving it to the left as we lower the boom. Uh, Okay, no, 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 forwards. Let's get it placed where I want it. That'll do. And back off. Yeehaw. Okay. I've also noticed in the US, a lot of farmers do not they'll only do a single they'll do a double bottom row single top row when they're stacking the bales on their trailers they generally won't strap them down but uh, we've got a ways to go with these so straps are a thing for us come on back up okay If 
I got that right, that should just slot back into place. Nah, it didn't. Well, whatever. Thirty real time. We'll get this contract done today, and then uh, probably call the stream for now. Once we're done with all the selling and the storing of the silage bales. Is it midsummer four? That means tomorrow game day will be late summer, and potentially we could have some harvesting that needs to be done. Please don't. I'm going to pull something off, aren't I? Okay. I think I'll stack this near side. And that gets that first bale a little squarer to where I want it. We'll grab this second bale and we'll have to go around the other side and push that on from the other side to get it all stacked neatly. And I'm, again, I might want to be uh, strapping things down again. Then again, I've also noticed in the US, bale trailers tend to be much lower to the ground. But uh, US farmers would probably stack this as a 14 rather than an 18 load of bales. Okay, let's uh, do the pushy pushy. See if we can get this all nice and uh, backed up. Okay, time for straps. I don't want that one. That one. That one. And the next one. Okay, that's all of those strapped. Room for four. Go. Okay, any obvious ones in the hedge? Looks like there's actually five total in the hedge, so this one first. And that is completely the wrong orientation. driving. Okay. Let's spike that on the flat end again. I think most of those ones in the hedges are going to be the wrong orientation for our uh, operation. No, I think forward was good. Good. Not even close. There we go. I think that did something. Yeah. It did something. Well. Stop that. 
that.